Welcome back to The Road Show. This morning in the buzz, the Wall Street Journal's decision to feature a front, front page photo of Supreme Court nominee Elena Kagan playing softball has, believe it or not, ignited a national discussion about why people assume that women who play sports are lesbians and if that should matter. Here's what happened. Earlier this week, the newspaper ran this 17-year-old image of President Barack Obama's pick for the Supreme Court. The caption reading, court nominee comes to the plate. Well, immediately, the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation came out with a statement saying it is clearly an allusion to her being gay, and it's just too easy a punchline. Now, the Wall Street Journal caused the accusation absurd, but now a lot of people are wondering why the newspaper chose to use that picture and if her orientation makes a difference either way. Now, here's the other thing. No one has come out and said she is a lesbian. She's yeah, not a lesbian. Is speculation. So that's what, what also makes it uh, particularly interesting. But here's the question. Do you think that particular picture alludes to her sexuality? <laughs> I don't know if it alludes to it. I don't think it does at all. Okay. But it... It, I mean, it, it's not the most feminine picture they could have. Well, here's, chosen. The, here's, here's the thing. I, I know that to anything, when I we put think. packages together in, in news, a lot of times if we're talking about someone's history, we'll show, you know, baby pictures or them in sports or yeah. things to, especially when it's like a politician or something, so a political figure, so you can see them in a different light, more, a more humane, you know, yeah. a, a light that shows their humanity, yeah. you know, that they do other things outside of whatever their occupation is. Well, lesbians aren't the only people that play softball, by the way. Yeah. This just in, breaking news. But, you know, I don't know if this newspaper has an agenda against uh, the Obama administration. Perhaps it does. Mm -hmm. I know there's a lot of the old, like, uh, the Fox News channel against MSNBC. you got the right wing versus the left wing. And you have some newspapers that have agendas to attack uh, someone's policies and their nominations and such. But, uh, you know, the only thing, I mean... So what if she is? Yeah. Well, but the, <laughs> that's what the other thing. I think, you know, I think it's really interesting that the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation came out and, set and, made, and made a deal. A little defensive. The, the Wall Street Journal didn't, you know, they used this picture and apparently they thought it was, uh, you know, indicating that she was a lesbian. Yeah. I mean, first off, I don't, like you said, I don't think it matters. I mean, if you can do your job, you can do your job. Now, people were worried that... She may be swayed because gay marriage and stuff like well, that yeah, goes through the Supreme Court, but there's straight judges too that may absolutely. be against gay marriage. So absolutely. It's, it's but the, the same. thing is, everyone, you know, you when you are chosen, you you know, you are chosen because you have a particular lens through which you view a lot of court cases, and your upbringing, yep. your lifestyle, your background all influence uh, what that, how you see that lens. Yeah. What I think is really interesting, though, is there is a lack of diversity in terms of the people who were picked. They four of them came from New York. Uh, they all. All are Ivy League educated, right. um, you know, and so it's interesting because as much as we're talking about different areas of diversity, you know, uh, Soto um, Sotomayor, Sotomayor yeah. uh, you know, being Hispanic, uh, another woman being named to the bench, whether whether um, Elena Kagan is lesbian or not, it's very interesting that it seems to be that they are all coming from a very particular and, yeah. if not elite, group of people. You know, which would indicate a lack of diversity. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to lose any sleep over the fact okay. that they put her a uh, picture for her playing softball. Yeah. And, uh, the wall, I don't know what the paper's agenda is, like I said, but um, you know, let's get her confirmed. And you know, it, I don't know. I'm I not, agree. It is you know, amazing it is though, when you think about it. What, if you're in the public eye, what like one what is scrutinized? Can do and what yeah, what people scrutinized, can, what's how they not. can you know make you. Come off. I'm a little yeah. disappointed in the alliance, though, jumping right to that conclusion, yeah, saying, "Oh, really interesting." Oh, you know, made that oh my goodness, let's get right out in front of this one. Why? There's no need to. Why are you going to defend her? Well, I tell you what, Courtney, I want to uh, throw it over to you because uh, certainly a lot of people are talking about this this morning, and I'm wondering what people on our live blog are saying. This is a big buzz on the live blog. Lots of comments. It's tough for me to weed through them, but I picked a few we can read right now on foxprovidence.com. This one's from Joseph Butera, and he says, I think that her sexual preference should have no effect on upholding her duty in the Supreme Court. This is her business, and we should respect that. Enough is enough. And Lisa says, regarding today's buzz, that's so silly. Come on, no way. Her job is just to be fair. It shouldn't matter her sexuality. And Erin S. says, I don't think it should make a difference. So what if she plays sports? Just because you play sports doesn't mean you're gay. If you are, that's your right. Here's our poll right underneath the live blog. Does Elena Kagan's sexuality make a difference? A, yes, it could influence her decisions, or B, no way her job is to be fair. And I've also posted this buzz story there right under that. If you want to take a, a look at that picture, maybe read that Wall Street Journal article. 
Here's a snapshot of our Facebook page. Lots of comments to surf through here. Joseph Vadney says it definitely does not make a difference. If that's the reason she does not qualify, then that is discrimination and is completely wrong. And Susan Benedetti says, I pray that someday people will be accepted no matter what their race, religion, or preferences. So we have, oh geez, about 13 more comments if you guys want to read through them, maybe weigh in from home. But I'll have those poll results in about a half hour. So.